Here's a fun little redstone project. It's uh, even semi-practical. Uh, here you have a very large corridor filled with redstone torches and redstone repeaters. Um, yeah, this is highly impractical. This actually is highly impractical. Uh, you can see they all have to be set to four to make this work. Um, that's about 425 redstone repeaters just in that hallway. Then you've also got the clock, uh, which requires a few. As you can see, it goes into a not into a, an AND gate, which is what this is. Uh, what happens is the one on the right goes to a switch, the one on the left goes to the pulser, clock, whatever, and um, then when the switch, you can see the line here, is on, then when the pulser is on, then when the pulser is on, the output will be on, and when the pulser is off, the output will be off, and therefore it acts as an edge detector. Um, rising edge. Um, then the output goes to these torches, which means that they pulse, like so. Left, then right, then left, then right, etc., etc. Um, thanks to I Choose Moo for demonstrating this as the best, most compact, and least resource-heavy way to do this. Yes, I said least resource-heavy way. This used up all of my redstone. And you know how much redstone you get mining. And this mine actually goes at least twice as far as uh, this track. This only goes to my first um, stronghold that I encountered. And it goes... And, uh, well, you can see how slowly it goes. I might be able to speed it up slightly by increasing the clock speed, but you can only make pistons go so fast before they start having big problems. I'm bringing up my uh, F3 H uh, heads up display, whatever, to show you about 254 in the x axis. And, yeah, this is taking a long time. This is why I'm actually recording this voiceover afterwards, because, well, this could take like an hour, actually probably a little less than that, but also I've encountered uh, delays before, like the pulse not propagating all the way due to distance sometimes. So I'm just going to cut here. Yeah, while I was out, you can see that my, uh, my, I cut out my HGD kind of, well, my entire display kind of shrank. But you, if you can still read the numbers, I went a long way on that thing. I did have to go back once to reset the propagation. Um, now, you know, I don't remember why I went all the way back. Ah, yes, uh, that, I also don't know why I got stuck in the wall there. But this hole actually is for an elevator shaft based on the same principle that for some reason I cannot seem to get working and I will cut to a uh, similar video showing a demonstration of that elsewhere it works when I test it out it just doesn't work in that particular spot yes yeah, so even though you'd rather use minecarts um, much less resource intensive to do that uh, for an elevator this is actually a wonderful idea uh, here you can see the setup is essentially the same. Go to the two things, got a clock. Let me get the clock started. Um, however, I'm going to do a little bit of um, redstone work here because I keep having this error where my torches burn out even if I'm not don't have them on the clock and I'm just putting a switch in front of them. I've read that the only way to fix it is to move it and I've discovered that that's the only thing that works. You can see the signal propagating. Let's just turn that off before they burn out. <laughs> um, and yeah, just, yeah, sorry, sounds a little off on this one for some reason. Put the, uh, set up the pistons. This is uh, actually pretty much exactly what uh, I choose Moo did. Uh, I'm not showing you anything new with this particular segment, except for the burnout error, because watch as they rise, and I demonstrate, and I am just about to get on, and there go the torches.
all the torches on my AND gate just burned out and will no longer propagate a signal. <sighs> so yeah, that's not actually the error in my uh, elevator in my mine, but it keeps happening here so I can't even test it long enough to figure out what might go wrong, what might be going wrong. Still, that's what you gotta deal with. Um, I hope this is useful to somebody. Good luck and keep on building fun redstone projects for me to steal. I'm so in love with this game, don't care if I so lame. I load up Minecraft, all the blocks just fall this way. I got some wood to collect, I stack a 60% I load up